Welcome to Garden Wise Adventures. My name is Malie and today we finally get to plant my onions. Now when I say finally, this is the second week in April and I could have planted them earlier and they would have survived, but I learned something new about onions, especially here in colder climates. Now I'm in Utah, zone six or seven, just depending on the winter. And I learned that if your onions, after they're planted, if they're outside, if they go through a heavy freeze, then they are likely to bolt. Now I've had my onions bolt in the past and always wondered why. So the last couple of years I have been trying to plant them a little bit later and they have bolted far less. So we just went through a heavy freeze. Last night the temperatures hit probably the low 20s. I forgot to look at my weather apps today to see what temperature it was, but it was forecast to get into the low 20s. And I know it did, everything was frozen this morning. But it's warmed up beautifully. It's in the 50s now. We're not going to see freezing temperatures for a few weeks, and I don't know if they're gonna get into the low 20s again. There's the off chance that they might, but I think it's safe now to finally put them into the ground. So let me show you what I'm gonna plant. Now here's what I have. And if you notice, the germination rate in these two, which is my Spanish sweet yellow, was far less than my Spanish sweet white and my red onions can't remember which ones. I'll, I'll probably put it up on the screen, the, the name of the red ones. I can't remember which ones they were. These are bunching onions that will go somewhere else. But I actually had to go to the store and buy more yellow because the germination rate was so poor. I tried three times and just could not get them to germinate. But I have a couple of them that I grew from seed that I can plant. Now I wanted to go over why I transplant from plants, especially ones grown from seed. And I've tried the onion sets in the past, and I think especially here in Utah, they just don't work as well because those have been put through an artificial dormancy period, which causes them to bolt and set flowers a lot earlier than they would normally. So I really don't like to do that. I really don't like to use sets. They just don't work here. And if you try to direct sow into the bed, they just don't have enough time to grow. By the time it's warm enough for them to sprout outside, it's just a little bit too late for them. So I like to start them inside by seed. Let me show you how I plant these. Now as you look at my bed, I've got kind of a mess at the end. I'm a little bit worried about that. That's quail. We have a flock of quail that live in this yard and they love to dig through my soft and fluffy beds. I think they're searching for worms and bugs which isn't a problem when the bed is empty, but we're gonna have little onion starts here. So I am, I'm hoping beyond hope that they don't just, that they decide not to dig in this bed anymore. But I fertilized this bed last fall. I, I actually added some of my homegrown, homegrown compost. Onions are heavy feeders, so I am going to put a little bit of plant tone down. Um, I've tried to keep my fertilizers as high nitrogen as possible because adding compost adds potassium and phosphorus already and a lot of the beds especially here in Utah a lot of garden beds that are amended regularly regularly end up with too high phosphorus and potassium I have not had these beds tested in a while I think I will do that one of these days here shortly but I am going to go off the assumption that they most likely have higher levels of phosphorus and potassium plant tone has a little bit higher nitrogen so I'm going to be using that Now I'm just mixing it into the top layer. I don't want to mix it in too deeply. Now I'm not going to plant these as a clump. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate out each individual plant and that's not hard to do. These are my red onions. I'm gonna plant these at the beginning of the bed. I'm just gonna plant them all in blocks of color. I'm not gonna mix them up. Now, as you can see, the soil is off. I have all these little baby plants and I will just plant these and hopefully they will grow beautifully.
Next is the pathetic yellow ones. I think I got two germinate, two seeds germinate in each of these trays. They've got good roots though. Now I like to dig the hole deep enough that it uh, buries all of these roots straight down. And then I like to cover it about to this point. So I dig a pretty deep hole, let the roots dangle into it, and then just tuck it in. Now I'm leaving about, you know, four to six inches between each bulb because I would really like to have these grow as big as possible. Now for the first container of my white ones. We are all finished. We've got all of our onions planted. They're all watered in and I counted around 90 of them. So we'll see how far those go. I think I planted about half that last year and I just ran out and it's middle of May. So that lasted pretty long. That also included all of the stuff that I made and canned that had onions in it. So I, I'm hoping this will last me a little bit longer. I'm glad to have this project done and glad to know that I'm going to have onions this year and very grateful that you joined me on this journey. And if you like my videos, please like and subscribe, share them with your friends, and go have a wonderful garden adventure.